Is it true that manta queens devour their mates after copulation? Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. Any Decided to help. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Any luck out there? Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll... Hey, thanks for the help. <coughs> Move along. Got my sights on you.
Don't mess with us. Great work. like a good tussle. Captain. Hey, Max, what does your religion say happens to us after we die? The body returns to the universe from whence it came. I'm sure you've seen a corpse in the various stages of decay. Why do we exist in the first place, then? What the hell's the point? Our lives contribute to the betterment of the human race. 
everyone has a part to play for the greater advancement. I ain't got a part. Life ain't a damn cereal. You helped people survive the monarch evacuation, did you not? Perhaps one of them will go on to unlock godhood for the human race. Well, if they do, I hope they remember who pulled them from the jaws of raptodons. If you'll just listen... No! No more listening! No more preaching! We are losing people left and right! We need to act! Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. They are armed all the same. Excellent. Did you find the Vanois? Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Our... Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Nice day, huh? Come on up. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? You're talking about the massacre. Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. I know it's a long shot, but if we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is... If this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain. All that blood is on their hands. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck.
South here, off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body, this would be a good spot for it. Oof, I hear it. Here we go! Damn it, Pat. That was done for. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch, excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Swell. We like quick on the draw types like you. Ms. Malin can let you one if you're interested. Time for a round of whist. Or a round of whiskey. Or both. Stuff, all right, but sounds like Cheney's gone gold on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Arthur today? Uh-huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, you're as welcoming as ever. 
Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well? Might be I know something about it. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. And I'll thank you kindly for it. Come for vice. Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long as you don't mind being in her debt. Efficient, clever, ruthless. I like her. If you're feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. It's true! My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. 
Surprise. Captain, I was hoping for a word. I want to thank you for talking some sense into me back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. You're right. I owe you an apology. I've been so obsessed for so long, I couldn't see anything else. And even then, you saved me from myself. You owe me nothing, I know, but I... I'm begging your forgiveness. Thank you. Oh, exactly as you'd imagine. Can't say I enjoyed the stint. It did provide me with plenty of time to think. The way I see it, the universe was snapping me back to where I needed to be. You stray too far from the course of your destiny, the world will try to correct for it. Ness detected. Dispensing vomit. Bags. Preparing. Bodily waste. Collection receptacle. Good to see you, boss. Destination reached. Scylla. If I were a hermit, I'd choose to live on a desolate rock orbiting the middle of nowhere. Looks like they started terraforming the place, but gave up halfway.
death, our survival. Fate shines on us today. Lacerations and untreated burns detected. Signs indicative of sudden violent crash landing. Yep, that's me. No big deal. Just shrugging off my injuries as I stroll away from another flaming impact crater. Tremendous work, friend. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Meds, I'm guessing. Well, I've got some repairs to do. Then, to the Groundbreaker. How we ain't dead. Now the pylon is on the O2. This thing's cracking from the rise. We just drift off. You can only move forwards or backwards as a society, and I, for one, fully support our progressive efforts.
What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Oh, the audacity. Strangers enter my home and demand to know who I am? What fun! Is this a multiple choice question? Because I'm not sure I remember anymore. No, she's not. She's a lady of transcendent wisdom. Can you not see that? Very astute. And I'm out here to meditate and contemplate the unendurable mystery without being bothered. So why are you bothering me? We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. There is one way that can speed up the process. A crass way to put it, but yes. And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. Uh, I don't know, Captain. Is this safe? I don't think this is safe. Well, I don't want to leave you all on your lonesome. I I'll just... Oh, fine, I'll do it. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. <laughs> 